Welcome to Training Unit MG022A, RPC Requests Solicitor Guide. Regional property certificates bring together various pieces of information about a property. They are part of the legal searches undertaken by solicitors on behalf of their clients who are buying or selling property. When buying a property, it is essential that purchasers are fully aware of what they are purchasing including any responsibilities and costs that go with it. Property certificates help to identify if there are any statutory provisions affecting the property and if any legal action has been taken or is pending by the council or other government bodies. You must register on the planning portal to submit a regional property certificate application request electronically. The steps for this are detailed in the accompanying manual. To submit a request for a regional property certificate, you need to be registered and logged on to the planning portal. To start our application, we can click on Start New Application under Property Certificates. To start a new application, we need, first of all, to give it a name. And I'll just put a test name for this application. You'll notice that the data input is on the left-hand side of the screen. And the information to allow you to fill in this form will appear on the right-hand side. These are the stages that we go through, application name, site location, site boundary, and application type. Once I've named my application, which is more likely to be an address, I'll choose continue. I must enter a postcode. And based upon the postcode, I will find my address. Once I've selected the relevant address, I can choose Continue. The next stage is to plot the site boundary. We do get a tool to draw the site boundary. Alternatively, you can upload a spatial file of the type GeoJSON format. You'll find that it's quite easy to draw a site boundary. And you can see that the maximum site boundary that can be plotted is 35 hectares. If I click on Draw Site Boundary, I'm taken into a short tutorial. Work your way through this if required. I'm going to skip the tutorial in this case. And because I entered and selected the address based upon the postcode, it's now focused on the address that I've selected. I can use the roller ball on my mouse to zoom in to that location and then I can plot the site. The cursor will snap to corners so I can easily click if there's a kink in the line I can click on another point and I can go around the corner. Once I get back to my starting point, the system assumes that I'm finished and will give me a prompt. It looks like you've completed a boundary. Click to finish drawing to continue creating your application. I can undo the last thing that I did, the last line. I can reset my drawing and draw it again. I can also show line length against the plot that I've just drawn. And I may want to compare this with the site map that I'm going to supply as part of my RPC consultation request. If I'm happy that the drawing is complete, I can choose Finish Drawing. It gives me a summary of what I've plotted. 
I still have the option to change the boundary at this point, but if I'm happy enough, I can choose continue. We then ask for the application type. There are only two application types, single property and multi, multiple properties. In most cases, it may be single property. So that's one building that's being plotted for a, a regional property certificate request. Now, it may be the case when you plot a single property, the regional property certificate unit may come back to you and say, this is actually more than one single property on this site. In that case, there may be a top up fee to apply to your application. I choose continue to go on with my single property. It summarizes the information I've currently applied and I can now create my application. It tells me my application progress is currently 20% complete. I have some questions that I need to answer. I can see the steps one to three are complete. To create and change the other steps, I can choose continue. If I click on agent details, I can then click and enter my agent details. I can enter the name of the applicant. And I must enter a country. We have two spaces for a, a number, a phone number. One of them must be filled in. and an email address is required. And this will be taken from my registration details. As a solicitor applying for the certificate, I may have an internal reference number that I may wish to add to this for tracking purposes. I choose next. We're asked for the site address. The site address is picked up from my previous input 15 Malai Road, Donica Day. If I don't have a postcode, I must fill in a description. If I'm happy enough with what I've got, I can choose next. And I can put the full name of the owner. And the nature of the property. And I can answer any subsequent questions that may occur. In this case, I'm going to answer no. I've now completed my application questions. I can then add any plans and documents to accompany my application. To add documents to the list or to this application request, I can click in the window, the browse window here, and that will open up my Windows Explorer. From here, I can select my sitemap, which must accompany my application request. And then I can indicate the category of the file that I've just loaded up.
you can see there are many different types of document. And in this case, I'm going to choose site location plan. I can also add some content for a description, which will carry through to my application. Once I'm happy that I've got that information in, I can upload the file. To go back to my application overview, I simply click on that option. And you can see that I now have one plan and document added. So the next thing to do is calculate my fee and pay. So I'll calculate my fee. The fee calculator kicks in and what we're asked for here is please enter the number of properties required. In this case, it's one. We cannot change this because this is what we entered at the start. We chose single property. If it's multiple properties, we will need to discard this application and go back and recreate a new one. So I'll choose continue. And it's telling me my fee is £70. If it was multi-properties, it would calculate based upon the other properties. And there are subsidies against subsequent properties. So I finish and close. It tells me I'm 80% there. And all I have to do now is submit my application. I need to sign the declaration that the information I've given is correct. And I can select how I would like to pay. In this case, I have one option, secure online payment by credit or debit payment. And you'll see the message, you will be taken to your local authority for payment. The local authority is identified by the plotting of the site and the postcode that you've supplied. So I'm going to submit and pay. We can enter our credit card details. And an email address. I'll choose continue and I will be asked to confirm my payment. I get a message telling me my application has been successfully submitted and that will pass through to the Regional Property Certificate Unit for processing. I may, in some respects, receive information back from the RPC unit prior to a certificate if I have not supplied sufficient information or my site map is incorrect or the plot is incorrect. I can be asked to supply further information. I receive an email to tell me my payment has been received. And I will also receive an email to tell me that my application has been submitted to the local authority. And I get some instructions, information about what happens next. And there's my email coming through for my application. So again, if I return to application overview, you'll see that my application is now locked and I can make an amendment, but there may be further fees to pay depending on what I change. We have a couple of actions here. We can download a copy of this. We can copy this information. If we want to create a, a subsequent application, we can amend or withdraw it, or we can archive it. In this case, 
We're happy enough that we've supplied the complete information for this property. And that is us finished with the submission portal for property certificates. The process is now in the hands of the Regional Property Certificate Unit. For any further information, you may need to contact them.